officer pacing and stunt driving is somewhat of a controversial term. Most people believe that if the speed was not caught on some form of a radar device, then they can automatically dispute the charge in court. Now, of course, you always have the right to dispute your charges. However, pacing and the accuracy and legitimacy of evidence is much stronger than you may have been led to believe. So let's um, investigate this. What is pacing and its relationship to stunt driving in Ontario? When police officers want to find out how fast a car is going, they have a few different tricks up their sleeve, and one of them is called pacing. So let's break it down into simple steps. One, the police car chase. Sometimes an officer will spot a car zooming by and decide to follow it with their own police car. Two, playing tag along. As the officer follows this speedy car, they try to keep up with it without going faster or slower. This is like, um, I don't know, trying to walk side by side with a friend without getting ahead or falling behind. Three, checking their own speed. While keeping pace with the other car, the officer then looks at their own car's speedometer, which shows how fast that they're actually going. Four, measuring over a distance. The officer doesn't just take a quick look. They watch the speed over a certain distance to make sure it's steady. So what happens if I was paced for stunt driving when I go to court? Well, too fast, you're caught, right? So if the officer tells the court that the car was going way faster than the speed limit, the justice of the peace is very likely to believe it. So for example, if someone was driving at a speed that's much higher than what's allowed, the court will probably say that they were indeed speeding. So do we trust the police car's uh, speedometer? It's a good question. Usually the court likes to know you know, that the police car's speedometer was actually working right. But generally, the police vehicle's speedometers, they're considered accurate evidence. Each car is, you know, calibrated and tested, and they have a higher level of accuracy than the vehicle you are actually driving. Most times, this is sufficient enough to prove a stunt driving charge at a trial. Stunt driving speeds are way over the top. So if a car was driving extremely fast, like 50 kilometers over the limit, the court might say, you know, that's so fast that there's no need to check a speedometer. It's clear that stunt driving was happening. So in a nutshell, police can use their own cars to figure out how fast someone is driving. Even a pace, regardless of what you have read on the internet, it may be enough evidence to warrant a stunt driving conviction.